Okay, guys, this question that you have in front of you is a combination of uh, latent heat and heat capacity. Okay, now look at the information that is given to you and let's look at the question. Huh? Information given to you over here, ice, and over here, ice will melt. And after that, at room temperature, it will turn into water. Okay, given to you temperature, negative 5 degrees Celsius when it is at ice. Okay, melting over here now, I'll let you know in a while. Melting over here, what temperature? Water over here at room temperature, 27 degrees Celsius. Mass is given to you 50 grams. Remember, guys, you have to change this to kilograms now. Huh? Specific heat capacity given to you 4,200. Latent heat is given to you as 3.3. Okay, now students, over here the question calculate total energy for ice at negative 5 to become over here until 27 degrees Celsius. That means total energy from here to here. How much energy is being absorbed? Okay, guys, now very importantly, yeah, you have three calculations involved. Now, first calculation, let's do it step by step. Okay, now over here, Q equals to mc theta okay now your m is given to you as 50 grams so over here 50 divide 1000 your m is 0 0.05 your c is over here 4200 now observe huh, students from negative 5 Melting over here, remember, ice melts at 0 degree Celsius. So, from negative 5 to 0 degree Celsius, I want to know how much heat is being absorbed. Now, remember, students, there is no change in the state of matter. The state of matter is, haven't changed yet. Belum to color here. It's just over here from ice to ice again, but, you know, it's starting to melt at 0 degree Celsius. So, over here, 0 is obviously higher than negative 5. So, 0 minus negative 5 okay now what you will get we calculate the whole thing 0 0.05 times 4200 okay times over here with 5 now the total energy involved 1050 joules okay now next ice is about to melt okay and from solid to liquid, when it involves a change in the state of matter, students, that is your latent heat. C does not involve change in the state of matter. Just from negative 5 to 0, how much heat is absorbed? L involves the change in the state of matter. So that means Q equals to M L. That means I'm asking you how much energy it needs for the ice to melt. This one, how much energy it needs for the ice to change from negative 5 to 0. You saw the difference, guys. Huh? This one, negative 5 degrees Celsius to 0 degrees Celsius. How much heat is needed? This one, how much heat is needed for melting? Okay. Your M, 0 0.05. Your L over here is given to you as 3.3 times 10 to the power of 5. Okay, I'll put this as Q1, Q2. Okay, now we calculate 0 0.05 times over here. 3.3, okay, times 10 to the power of over here, 5. 16,500 joules. Okay, now your Q3 over here, from 0 degrees Celsius to 27 degrees Celsius. So remember, it's like, you know, water to water, liquid to liquid. So, M, C, theta. My M, 0 0.05. My C over here, 4,200. And my theta, 27 minus 0. Okay, you times the whole thing, 0 0.05 times 4,200 times 27. And you will have 5670 joules. 
Uh, remember guys, the question is, what is the total heat, okay, or total energy over here? Now, the total over here, let's raise up a little bit for you to observe. Okay, so over here, total energy, okay, equals to 1050 plus 16,500 plus 5670. You plus all of this and the answer over here that you will obtain, that is the total energy needed to change from ice to the water over here at that temperature. So 1050 plus over here 16,500 plus over here 5670. You will get over here 23,220 joules. This is how much energy you need to change from ice to water. Okay? All right. Hopefully, guys, you understand how to over here combine your specific uh, heat capacity and specific latent heat. Okay? Next video, I'm going to teach you on your concept of gas laws. All right? Now, Whatever questions that can actually come out for SPM over here, I will definitely post it as examples over here of, of every chapter. I will do it the moment over here I finished up all the topics. All right. Thank you, class.